All right, just some general food tips, some information on the things that I carry with me when I'm traveling around or living in my van. I got the dried goods. They're going to stay good as long as you keep the moisture out. They're going to be stable for months, if not years. Stuff that's canned in a salt water solution, having salt in there. You just look, see the ingredient. If you've got salt on there and in water, you can even hear it. You're good to go. You open that up. You can safely use half of it, cover it up, use the next half the next day or the third day. I've done that in temperatures as high as 30 Celsius. The trick is it needs to be vegetables. I would never suggest you do something like that with meat unless it was, you know, heavily salted, you know, like the sailors used to carry their salted beef or whatever. But when it comes to vegetables, vegetables can be safely consumed for many days after they've been picked or opened or prepared. You just have to look at them, look for mold, smell it. If they smell okay and they look okay, they're okay. Uh, tortillas. They're really shelf-stable because they're not full of little holes like bread. Bread goes moldy pretty quick. Tortillas are going to be stable for weeks for that reason alone. Bacteria can't get in there. It's like a steak. The bacteria doesn't get in there. Whereas you, things like ground beef, lots of surface area for bacteria to get in. So rule number one, don't contaminate your food. And rule number two, don't buy things that are easily contaminated. Here's some pickles. They're packed in a salt water solution with vinegar. It says to refrigerate after opening. That's ridiculous. Why do you need to refrigerate something that is sitting in vinegar and salt? This has been open for weeks. I am in no danger of getting sick. Another product that sometimes suggests refrigeration. I didn't see it said on this particular brand, but other brands it does say it. it has something to do with the sulfides or not having sulfides in there because sulfides are preservative. But in general, raisins are they're dried. You keep them safe from humidity and contamination. They're not going to go bad on you. Again, visual inspection. That's been open for weeks. Um, Shelf-stable foods, things with hydrogenated oil in it, which is bad for your heart, but lasts, doesn't need to be refrigerated even after it's open because of the hydrogenation. <sighs> eggs. Eggs. I don't particularly care for eggs, but sometimes I like to mix things up. Eggs are good because they'll stay good for weeks without refrigeration. In hotter temperatures, eh, it's iffy. I'm always kind of weary of it because they've been pre-washed when they show up like this. They've been bathed. If you get them fresh from the farm, they'll stay good unrefrigerated for a month. Wash like this, maybe, maybe a week, a couple weeks. So I hard boil these throughout the week in hot temperatures as I go to make sure that I don't get bad eggs again. Smell them. Don't keep them any longer than a week. Along with uh, what I said earlier about vinegar and salt, this here says refrigerate after opening. Well, what are its ingredients? Its first ingredient is vinegar. Ridiculous. You don't need to refrigerate this. I've had this open for weeks. Well, three weeks now. Uh, same thing goes for ketchup. Looks like we're having a great value homage here, but that's not always what I use. It's just what I've been using lately. There's an example of how I close up things after I use them. Perfectly adequate. I carry potatoes around because they're, they're very stable, very unlikely to go bad. You just don't bang them around, keep them out of the sun. They're fine. They're more likely to just start sprouting eyes. Carrots, on the other hand, because they're pre-washed from the farms, then they put them in the bags and they've got all the tops removed, they go bad pretty quick in hot temperatures. Cooler temperatures, like 15 Celsius, 20 Celsius, they'll last for several weeks. Once you get up into 25, 30 Celsius, they'll go bad in a couple of days. You know, they'll get rubbery or flexible. Bananas are something that don't do too well in the heat, but, you know, they don't ripen in the cold. Apples, they're really stable. Oranges, they're pretty stable as well. And that's uh, all I can think of right now, but that's just what you want to keep in mind. When you go to portion something out, use a clean utensil. Don't breathe on it. Don't cough on it. Keep it uncontaminated and keep it closed when you're ready to use it. Uh, 
case you're wondering what that is, that was a, a valve. That was what I used to try and turn this into a giant vacuum chamber, take the oxygen out, because bacteria needs oxygen. It didn't work, so I couldn't keep a seal, but that's another story. This is basically my junk drawer. Stress management, try not to eat those, but I do anyway. Beans, of course, they're gonna last forever until you get them wet. Oh, speak of the devil, vinegar. So going along lines with this, what I was doing for a while, where did I stick it? I'm not sure where I've stuck it. Oh, here it is. These are uh, wine keeper valves. I modified it so it could go into the cap of a almond milk one liter container, you know, the larger ones. The idea was to suck the air out. It, it would keep it longer. It worked, it worked pretty good until I got it contaminated with some almond milk, forgot to clean it off. I saw some black mold growing on there. I cleaned it off with vinegar, but it was too late. It had already contaminated my almond milk. I had already had it for several days. And then once I saw that mold, all of it went bad the very next day and it was all chunky. So again, keep things clean. Don't contaminate it. Don't breathe on it. Don't touch it.